economics explains capitalism depending on how you define capitalism. <laughs> and um, I don't like the term capitalism too much because it's a bit loaded. Personally, I think it is unfairly negatively loaded because if you think about what the alternative is, socialism, you know, then I prefer capitalism over socialism. But the better term for capitalism, to my mind, is, is the market economy model. The, which, and I personally would even prefer the social market economy model, which is kind of the, 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 the buzzword the Germans love in particular, where you have um, the market mechanism responsible for allocating resources, but uh, government setting the rules of the game and providing uh, goods and services. Uh, public goods and services, and um, social safety nets, social insurance being one of those public goods and services, where, um, uh, where, which makes the market economy a social market economy, and where strong education systems provide opportunities to everybody, and where good infrastructure provides opportunities to everybody. So social is not just an income distribution uh, uh, um, that has not just an income distribution dimension, it also has an opportunity dimension to my mind. You know, you, what help is it if only the rich can get onto the freeways and uh, get good education? You know, you, 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 economically it's terribly inefficient and, and socially it is totally unsustainable. So the social market economy uh, is, is, so to speak, my uh, compass about, so to speak, what economists should strive for. Now that is a variance of a capitalist economic model, but it is not robber baron capitalism or the jungle, the Hobbesian jungle without rules. So the term is, uh, and it's used also sometimes to, to discredit uh, certain uh, ways of looking at, uh, e at the economy and, and economic policy making, and, and we should be, be careful with that, yeah.